Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hello. Um, tonight we've got a very different uh, video for you. It's not a usual travel vlog, but it is something that we shot recently while we were away. While we were at the International Camper Van and Adventure Overland Show. Yay. Got it out. <laughs> um, we bumped into Damo. Yeah, he's one of the show's organisers, um, and he wanted to share his story about the history of the International Camper Van Show. Yeah, how it came together, what his vision is for the future as well. Also, um, we've got an exclusive code, so you can get 10% off tickets from the next show. Yeah. So you're going to want to watch a little later on, um, where we can tell you where you can get the tickets, and what code you can use to get 10% off that show. And you, you, with, with or without the discount code, you want to be there. It was a fantastic show, one of the best shows we've ever been to. So you're not going to want to miss this one, and it's in September. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. So Damo, tell me how this all started. Yeah, uh, this started about um, about f uh, six years ago when I first got my first camper van, yep. uh, which is a Volkswagen T4. <laughs> and um, I brought this T4 from London. It needed quite a, a lot of restoration work doing on it. Um, probably about four to five thousand pounds spending on the van to get yep. it up to spec. It was a Remo converted van, so it, it was factory fitted from new. Um, and um, I, um, I got the van and um, I don't know if you're familiar with the car series, uh, the car TV series, Car SOS, that's on yeah, TV. Yeah, I've not watched it but I know the series you're on yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Fuzz there um, and, his, and his team uh, did all my restoration work on my van. They, it was all stripped and all the rusty bits were done because all Volkswagens rust. <laughs> <laughs> um, all the rusty bits were done. And um, <clears throat> I think for me, that the, the, the starting point for me was that I, uh, I can remember. I can remember one morning, uh, one particular morning, I, I was at Penmon Point in Anglesey, and um, I was woken up by this orange, just this complete orange glow throughout throughout the van. It was just, it was incredible. It's six in the morning, and it was like it was like there was a fire outside the van. You know, it, it was just beautiful orange. I uh, opened the curtains. I cracked the sliding door. I sat down on my step and I was greeted with the most beautiful sunrise that you'd ever seen. It was absolutely beautiful. It was yeah. stunning. Yeah. And I sat there and I thought, how how wonderful and amazing it is to be in that environment, to be in that environment, to have to feel that isolation and that freedom. And you're sitting, and your home's behind you. Yeah. Your home's behind you. Everything that that you need is there. And uh, I had this idea come to my mind that I wanted to inspire people to chase the dreams of owning a camper van from that moment, you know. Um, this this concept that I wanted to reach out to people and show people that the, the, the enjoyment of, of this country that we live in, the places we can go and visit, uh, and the freedom that that, that gives you, you know. So um, I set up a Facebook group called Inspiring Campus. Um, and what I started doing was I started mounting cameras to the van, uh, the drone. I went around Scotland. I did Harrison Lewis. That was a really good, good, good um, video that I did there. Yeah. Um, while camping every night, um, and the group just grew and grew and grew. And within two years, we were at about twenty-two thousand members within two years on wow. Facebook. On Facebook, yeah, two thousand yeah. uh, twenty-two thousand members. Yeah. Um, we're currently now at 26,000 members and what I started doing was I started arranging meets so I would meet so many vans in a lay-by in Wales I put the shout out on the group I'd set it as a little mini event and we six or seven of us would meet up on the beach and oh. we wild camp you yeah. know we wild camp we wouldn't go on to camp so it and the last one I did on the beach there was 30 of us and it was incredible yeah. it was incredible I said to everybody bring barbecue food, everybody bring something and we'll all contribute and we'll all help and we'll, we'll put on a nice, you know, nice, nice food for the weekend. Um, after that one, my final one, this is about the seventh gathering with the inspiring campers, I took a thousand vans into Shell Island. Um, oh, I did it on their, there. I did right. it on their Oktoberfest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had the Oktoberfest marquee. Um, and I looked, I, I walked around because my, my group is, is not about brand, it's about people. I believe my vision is that we make everybody welcome around the campfire. It doesn't matter what you own, it doesn't matter if you've only got a thousand pound and you've got a Ford Transit, we're not bothered. It's yeah. about people. You've got to make something. If you're going to make something, make it about people. And I believe that that, that is ultimately successful. Absolutely. We don't need to have a Volkswagen badge to be in this club. You know, everybody's welcome. And um, yeah. 
I looked at it, I walked around and I looked at it and I thought, you know, this is an event, this is a show, this is an event that you can put a Volkswagen next to a Ford, you can put a motorhome next to a hot rod or a classic car, um, you, you know. Um, and then what happened then was I, uh, I was contacted by Tom McGuigan, uh, events director for the uh, Adventure Overland show, and he wanted to meet me. He'd been following me on Facebook and he wanted to meet me. Uh, it, and he, it, it seemed what I'd been achieving and uh, I came down to the race course just a couple of years ago 20 vans I brought here uh, with, to the uh, Adventure Overland show and me and Tom had a talk and uh, a meeting and Tom said to me um, how would you like a playground to build your dream my dream was to build the ultimate great outdoor event that made everybody welcome that was my passion and my drive I wanted to do that I love bringing people together I yeah. I, 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 I know that the energy yeah. That, yeah. that gives you and the feeling that that gives you um, it, it's incredible and uh, yeah so <laughs> I said yeah okay he said right this is how much you've got to play with uh, with regards to the you know the land that I've got here at the race course and what I could do and he let me run with it. He trusted me and he let me run with it. And as I run with it, you know, I thought, okay, every make and model of camper van, let's bring in hot rods, let's bring in drag cars. Because what we do then is we start bringing in these because these have got trailers on the back. You can start getting the Santa Pod guys come, yeah. you know, and they can bring their race car with them, <coughs> you know. Yeah. Most people that go to Santa Pod have got one of these. So yeah. let's bring in the cars, let the guys come in and let them put this and a display vehicle next to it, you know. Um, I then started looking at, um, you know, self-build stuff, you know, put, let, let self-build come and have a display, let the self-build people get and have a display, you know, it might be a £2,000 self-build, but when you go inside it, what the guy's made and created yeah. is incredible, and those people never get a chance to exhibit their work, do you know what I mean? Mm. It's always got to be a show van, it's got to be mint, it's got to be immaculate, I didn't want to create that, I wanted to create a place where everybody could show their vehicle everybody everyone had an opportunity it didn't matter how, how much you got in your pocket what vehicle it was yeah. everybody had a chance to exhibit and show that something certainly feels like that. and to show and and to say to someone look i ain't got 30 40 000 quid you know but i've got two thousand quid and this is what i did and then someone that comes into the event that might not have a lot of money can think you know what i can live this dream on yeah. a budget i don't need I can chuck a few pallets in the back of that, you know, for some people that's all they've got. Yeah. But they can make something yeah. and they can experience. The experience is parking up, having that beautiful view, that free, feeling of freedom and isolation. That is the dream. Not so much what you're owning. Uh, to, to me, that's how I see it. Agreed. Um, and then I, um, yeah, I started bringing in then uh, trucks. I'm a <laughs> class one lorry driver, and I know there are some beautiful airbrush tractor units out. So I started bringing in the trucks to the show. And then I brought in monster trucks. Uh, <laughs> and then we brought in top rods. Uh, and then we brought classic cars and then motorbikes. There is and all kinds here. There is yeah, all kinds, something yeah. for everyone. Something for everyone. What is the key success to this to this event this weekend? The key success to this event is that I built this event on making everybody welcome around a campfire, and that's what it's about. And it doesn't matter what you own. If you've got a motorbike and a tent, you can come and sit around my fire. It certainly feels yeah, like that. You know, yeah. and um, and that that really is how the international camper van was born. And today, when I've walked around here today, and I've had people talk to me about this show, and they've said to me, they said. What's it been running? Seven years? Eight years? And I've said, no, this is the launch. And they've looked at me and gone, this is the first, this is like the first, the first one. And I say, yeah, this is the first one. This is the launch. And it's like this because of how, because of how passionate I am, how committed I am, um, and how much time and effort that I put in. Um, and, and my belief, built on my belief of how we should bring people together and we should make everybody welcome. You know, we shouldn't be, I mean, I always think when I walk around the NEC, Birmingham, and I go around that show, you know, I mean, there's lots of people there, there's lots of money spent there, you know, but there's so many people there that couldn't, they couldn't reach that dream. They haven't got 60,000 quid to go and buy a motor home. You know, they haven't got that. With my event, what I want is, I want, I want my, my guys, my visitors to come in and I want them to look and I want to give them hope and show them that in actual fact you don't need that type of money that you can buy a van and you can put XYZ in for, for X amount of pounds and you can go and live your dream 
And for me, that's what the International Camper Van Show is about. It's also about bringing a new footfall to, to the scene. So what I mean by that is, uh, typically the NEC motorhome show you would be going because you would want a motorhome that's what you would be that's what you would go there for if you went to a Volkswagen show you would go because you like Volkswagens um, I wanted to create an event where there's something for everyone so you might today we might have had 50 I don't know say 50 50 60 people possibly probably more than that come through the gate and they're all truck people they like yeah. trucks but you know what they walk around this event today and they the stuff opened their eyes and they'd seen things that they weren't necessarily going to see they come for the trucks but they walk around and they go you know what that's a really good idea i like that and that's inspiring people and it's bringing people um to a new you know new hobbies new interests you know yeah and bring us all together yeah, yeah and bring yeah, you all yeah, together yeah, yeah. yeah. so We're massively motorhome people we have been motorhome for for several years now but I've loved walking around and looking at the um, the real overlanders, the big, yeah. beefy, meaty yeah. The different stuff, yeah. 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 I mean, some of them are in excess of like three million pound, and I mean, these, pe <laughs> these people live in them full time. And, and I mean, you're yeah. talking, what, some of them, eight miles to the gallon? Yeah. You know, oh. you've got to think they're like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just incredible, and uh, yeah, I think moving forward, this is going to become, my, 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 my vision is that this will become the biggest outdoor, all makes and models, show in Europe and I shall deliver that. I, I, shall, yeah. I, I think show is almost the wrong word. It kind yeah. of needs to be a festival. <laughs> yes, I know, yeah. It's, it's got that feel of a festival yeah. for sure. Yeah. 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 A festival so, of all things. So this has been a great one. Picture. Now okay. tell me, there's another one in September. So anyone who hasn't come to this one. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Tell us more about the September one. Yeah, so in September we are going to do the next show on, I believe it to be the 18th and the 19th of September. I think you're right, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. At uh, Stratford-upon-Avon Racecourse at Warwickshire. Um, and that event is going to be... What, what, I, what I want to do for that one, I want to make it, believe it, believe it not, I want to make it bigger than this event. Um, same concept as what we've already got in place at the moment where we're all make some models. Um, we've learned quite a lot from this event. I do want to say that, it, you know, this weekend has been a learning curve for us, you know, uh, like everything else, there's been things that we can improve on that we recognise as organisers sure. uh, moving forward, uh, what we need to do to, to, to make it better, to make it easier for the visitors and, and, and for people. Um, it's a learning curve. I think we've done very well this weekend, but I certainly think moving forward with the event, we can do a lot better, and we will. And we've recognised things that we need to improve on. And right. September, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be mega. Just, just you know, incredible. So, are tickets available? How can we book this? When are tickets yeah, going to be available? Book, yeah, you can book this. Tickets will be. I think tickets, tickets will be available from next month. For right. People to start purchasing. Um, they can do that through the International Campervan Show website. Yep. Okay, yep. if they just type in International Campervan Show on Google, it'll come up with the site. You can also find us on Facebook. Again, if you type in International Campervan Show, you can follow the page, which I regularly update with content of display vehicles that are coming in, traders, etc. Um, and also check out the Inspiring Campers group. A lot of people are know me and know know about the Inspiring Campers, but check out the Inspiring Campers group. You can use my platform to advertise your business on there. Um, YouTubers can use it. To to promote their YouTube channels, uh, we don't have any rules in there at all. We are free. We are we are free spirits. We're like-minded people, and f nobody owns Facebook. You know, yes, I have this group of twenty-six thousand members, and I and I and I co-founded that, um, but. Facebook is for everybody to use, so we don't have rules. We just ask people to be nice, be kind, but if you can use it to promote your channels, um, promote yourselves, by all means do it. Put what you want on there, whatever helps you. But ultimately, follow me and check my check my travels out. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Listen, thanks so much for telling us the story of the National Camper Van Show, yeah. how it came about. No and uh, people get over there and uh, buy some tickets from next next month. You from say from next month, yeah. Brilliant. Be like. Can we make sure we have a link so we can share it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Get you a link, yeah. yeah no thank problem. You. Yeah. Demo, thanks, buddy. Thanks once again. It's been a great show. Thank Cheers, you. Thank you. And lovely Cheers. to meet you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Well, there you have it, guys. We've met Damo. Lovely guy. Lovely, lovely guy. Great show. Honestly, one of the best shows I've been to. It didn't feel like just a just another show. Like said, Lindsay said, it felt like a festival. Yeah, festival, and everybody here. I, there's there's so much optimism as well. That's here. It feels like we've come out of a really dark time. Mm. Everyone's happy. There's so much energy, and we've got so much in common. Um, 
with loving all these outdoor things. And everyone's been so happy. The weather's been great, I must say. Yeah. The weather has been great. <laughs> that, and always helped. Helped. <laughs> that always helps. That always helps. Yes, anyway. definitely. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed having a chat with Damo uh, and learning about the International Camper Van Show. Um, and we will see you on next the next time. one. <laughs> Bye. Bye.